thanks for choosing Ultra. I'm David LaCroix. We put this program together as complete as possible. If you have problems or questions during the build process, we offer a free, unlimited technical support. I'm going to drive a pick into this seal on the accumulator. Just break it, pull it out. Reach and get it, and just pull it out. Our valve body gasket we're going to throw away, our channel plate, and then our case gaskets on the bottom of that. We are going to reuse the channel plate. When we first started on the teardown on the outside, we had tapped down the clips on the wiring harness, so it pulls right out now. It's kind of hard to do when it's upside down and you're trying to hold those clips in. So it's easier to go ahead and tap it out before you get to that point. Our pressure plate. Pull all these out and you can see they're really, really burn up, destroyed. That's a common failure on this transmission. Let's talk about parts needed to rebuild this 4L60E. Over the years I've had quite a few calls and people ask me, why does it cost so much to build this transmission when I can go to the local auto parts store and buy an overhaul kit for $100 or less? Well, basically because an overhaul kit is right here. All you get is the paper, rubber, rings, and seals. There's a lot more goes into it than that. You have to add a clutch module, which makes it a banner kit. And then you have to add a seal module, which makes it a master kit. That pretty much covers the soft parts in it. A set of formed pistons for the forward drum, three of them. You need a filter. You need bushings for the pump, bushings for the forward drum, and direct drum, intermediate. You need a forward sprag, you need a low reverse sprag, you need a high energy band, you need a case hardened reverse reaction shell, and then you need a complete pump which is the rotor, the sleeve, case hardened rings, 13 vanes, and the pump race. Okay, that pretty well covers the inside of the transmission, but then you need the electronics. We need a force motor, EPC, electronic pressure control. We need a TCC solenoid. We need a 3-2 down switch. We need two shift solenoid A and B. And we need a manifold pressure board. And then the last piece that we need to stock build this 4L60E is a new manual position lever sensor or Prindle. So as you can see there's quite a bit more goes into it than just the uh, overhaul kit. Choosing Ultra, we provide you with a wholesale distributor so you can buy wholesale direct every part that you need or transmission tools. Has a bolt off bell house, the Torx bit works fine. But the first thing we're going to do is get it hard and brittle, and it's kind of hard to pull it off. So the easiest way to get that wiring harness on out. I removed one, take the other one off. Easiest way on this, sharp pick again. Raise up the clip slightly, pull on the wires, comes right in. We've got one of these eights that's retaining our wiring harness and one of the pins out of the way. So there's a clip in here, I'm going to use a sharp pick, held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. It actually goes into the pump and it's attached to this. And then this is our one two, slides right out of the lever. You see how it's got a knotty gasket, I'll throw away our channel plate. Not actually in the filter hole, but right behind it. Just put the pin. So basically, just hit it here, pull it out. We're going to locate the mount assembly. It's got a thrust washer on the back of it, reverse reaction shell with the updated version that's made out of a lot better. Rear planet, spacer plate, compression tool. Got one on the inside of the groove. One on the out. clutch, holds one way, turns the other, locks the other. 
This cage is what sits on the pin, the bottom of the drum. These notches actually sit on that. You see it better. With the seals off, it'll drop right in. Spring goes either way. Stab it in, raise it up, and just pop it out. The retainer out of this drum, just like we did the input. You pop the other bolt out. And remove the spring. Pick it up. And there's a rubber seal inside of that. It kind of cushions down to keep pressure. See the wear on the, the race.